Yo, 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 a T and T Dynamite DX was the one. I'm the man on the sticks. And we're playing uh, Magic the Gathering Duels. We'll get right into the story. That, by the way, is an awesome looking image. Uh, your heroism at the gates of Akros did not go unnoticed. Heloid, a god of the sun, sees a champion to face an even greater foe. Or, uh, he offers you the sun-blessed spear and <coughs> instructs you to destroy a mighty titan who serves Eberos, god of the dead. Yo, I want to be the god of the dead, though. Can I just be the god of the dead? Do I, black decks are my favorite, and that's not, like, a racial thing. The ground shudders, and the putrid smell of... Rot fills your nostrils. The shadow of Eberl's Titan falls across you and your irregulars. I don't like being called an irregular. You raise your great spear and it, it's radiant light. <laughs> it radiates lights of the sun. The Titan bellows ferociously. You charge forward anyway. All right, so, oh man, I don't even get a tutorial. I don't get the bot, dude. They give me the same hand every time. All right, next time I'm casting this first, man. Because as soon as he gets two man out, he's going to be casting dark blades and tears and stuff. And I don't, I don't need that in my life, you know? Yeah, it's my turn. Put it out. Yeah, get it out there. It's better to get that one extra damage second turn. I'm not gonna make the mistake mistake I made on last video. Yeah, we're here to get this man down fast. So, like, I'm just seeing that in this tutorial, it just pays to be aggressive. And honestly, when you're playing Magic, not for like fun with your with your with your mates, you gotta be aggressive. Brain Maggot. Hmm, sure. When Brain Maggot enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the battlefield. Ooh. Continue. You're gonna get in my brain. Oh, you took my 3-1. You dirty girl. That's alright. Guess what's coming out? It's this boy. If I hadn't have played that card second turn, he would have took it from my hand. I don't know, man. You might want to block. Might want to go ahead and use that brain maggot. I just feel dirty saying that. Brain maggot. Like clam chowder. It's all in the way you use the C. What is this? Constellation, whenever Grim, Guardian, or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. He's a 1-4. That's a big boy. He's a big boy. I'm still not concerned, though. It's looking good for me. We're going to attack with everything, because actually we're just going to attack with the 3-3 three, three that turns into a... I think he turns into a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Yeah. That's safe. Better block with your brain, maggot fam. Don't want to be down to 10 life, do you? No. Takes his lickings and keeps on ticking. not concerned. The shadow of the dead guy. Whenever an opponent draws a card, the Fate Unraveler deals one damage to that player. You are just hell-bent on dealing insignificant damage to me. It's actually quite annoying. Oh no. Oh no. And you're tapped out? I'm sorry. 
it looks like you're going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, yeah, let's just attack with that. That's all we really got to do. We can't kill him this turn even if we attacked with everything, so... Let's not play Koi here. Let's play Smart. Smart's better than Koi. Like a fox. Whenever Dread uh, Singer, Dreadbringer, <laughs> Dreadbringer Lamp Ads, another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature, and intimidate until the end of turn. Alright, I, I could see how you can make a deck out of that. I could see how you can make a dead out, out of that. Are you gonna attack me for three? Dude, come on. Why are you casting stuff, man? Just concede. Just concede the match. I have a 7-7 seven, seven flying and now he's a 9-9 nine, nine when he attacks you. I'll attack, dude. Just roll over and play dead. Is this your king? Is this your king? This was the Ebro's Titan that you sent to defeat me? Ordeal of Helioid. Complete Gideon's campaign. Consider it done. Alright, man. Oh, we, we beat it, dude. <gasps> we get a cutscene. Ah! Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> and poorly rendered. Oh my god, this looks so bad on my 4K TV. I do like his celestial arms. Katamari Damacy. Oh, brush it off. Oh, all your friends are dead. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> there is no voice acting. It's just him screaming. What? What is this? Oh, dude, I'm done. Yo, fam, why you up at lion? You're riding lions. And there's angels. All right, look, I'm not gonna lie. The world of magic is a bit much, man. I play D and D, and like, it's just, it's a bit much. <laughs> All right, so I got some boosters. Three magic original boosters have been awarded for completing the story. Grief stricken over the death of your comrades, your planeswalker spark ignites, sending you. Sending you to Bant? Dude, it's it's hard to read when you just have like these ridiculous anyway. You discover a realm of chiver chivalry, uh, and you are inspired to walk the path of knighthood. You take the name Gideon, Jora, and you seek redemption. Oh, can I take a name? I wanna take a name. Congratulations, you've learned the basics. You damn right, dude. Give me some more storyline stuff. Can I do the next person? Can I do the next man? Alright, it's all good, man. Let's open up our card collection. Let's see what... I cannot open up my card collection. How do I get to my cards? Let's see what the, the price is here. A starter box is free. Cool. Let's do it. We got some time. Let's do it, dude. To help you get started, here's your starter box. You can use these cards to create a wild variety of uh, decks and explore a number of different playstyles. Sweet. Open all boosters, man. Automatically open all, open them all. Continue to card collection or return to the store. Go to my card collection. Congratulations, you've started your very own collection. Now let's put those cards to good use. Head into battle modes. Yeah, okay, so how do I what is what is this? 
Show own cards. Boom. What do I got? I got some white cards. Alright, when Bones Weaver Giant enters the battlefield, you may search your graveyard hand and or library for an aura card. Put that directly into Yo. Can we can we filter? I just want to see what my black cards are. Alright, I selected. I have 24. How do I get out of here? Okay, let's see what I got on the black side. A 3 to Intimidate for 4. In the top 4 cards of your library, put the 2 into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. You lose 2 life. Ugh. I like how black attacks itself, but... Oh, I know this chick. It's the Blood Flow Connoisseur. <laughs> Sacrifice a creature to pull a plus one plus one counter on Blood Connoisseur. I like her a lot, man. She's good. So, like, okay. Uh, as an additional cost to bone a splinter, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature. Okay, I don't see how that's good. Lifelink for 2-1. That's a good card. You saw this a lot in, like, early tournaments as far as I know. Uh, sacrifice corpse hauler. Return another target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Eh. Destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. Ooh. For five, though, man. That's, that ain't cheap. Night fire a giant. Gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a mountain. And he can deal two damage for five mana? I mean, that's a lot of damage, but... He's expensive. Enchant creature. Whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That's cool. That's going in. I've got four of those. Oh, it even tells me how many I got. Look at how many connoisseurs I have, man. I got so many connoisseurs. The booster button takes you back to the store where you can buy more bo I don't want to buy more boosters. You stop trying to make me buy stuff. Whenever a creature and opponent control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on McClar's Call Blade. Sure, fam. Whatever you say. Discard an elf card. A target creature gets minus X, minus X with a 10 turn where there's a number of elves you control. Oh, so he's for like a black, uh, a black green deck. Okay, cool. Grave Digger, classic. Definitely put him in, I've put two of those in the deck. This returns a creature card from my graveyard to my hand when I put him into play. But just like, I look at that, and then I look at this thing, and I'm like, why would you do that? I guess it's the same, yeah, it's cheaper than a Grave Digger, and you get a 2-1. You can use it before he dies. Uh, flying first strike, not bad. Haste, ooh. Alright, I got more cards, too. I'm really hoping I got some, some good rares, man, but it doesn't really look like it. Uh, put target card from your graveyard onto the battlefield and your crow. That creature is a black zombie and a day. Oh, yeah, I like that. Exile an elf card from your graveyards. Scarred a vine breaker or vine breeder <laughs> gets plus three plus three until the end of turn. Eh. What is this? Send a barons enters the battlefield tapped. Can add one of either color to my hand. Okay, got a couple of those. Wait, this is a black and a red, and then this is a black and a red. Oh, unless you control a swamp. Oh, okay. Oh, the black blue, unless you control an island or a swamp. Now that's cool. Uh, okay. So they have like different dual land. Like this is basically a dual land. It's like as long as you don't put it down first turn, you you got it. Same with that one. And what is this? Black white. It's not the gold version though, and this is green blue or green green black black. Oh, I do have the black blue. And oh, okay, cool, black white as well. All right, man. I'm honestly, I'm pleased with that. So what I think I'm gonna do here 
is I am going to make a deck. And then I want to, like, go against some guys. Show my... Oh, why does it even take me to the cards I don't own? I'm going to figure out in this video how to make a deck first. <laughs> like, how do you do it? That just takes me to the store. Quest. Battle or solo battle with your decks. How do you make a deck? Get three fee booster packs when you complete. You shut up. Battle mode is where you can put the, the decks you create to the test. Solo battle allows you to play against a wide variety of AI opponents. It's a great place to practice. That's probably what we'll do. Versus battle is where I play online and probably piss people off because I move too slowly. Two-headed giant is when you play with a bud against two guys who are also buds. My decks is where you can create your decks. Let's try it now. Yes, let's do that. Deck wizard, a deck builder. Total control for experience. Yeah, we're a deck wizard. You are about to enter the deck builder. This method of building decks gives more control over specific cards in your deck, but it's significantly more complex. If you are new to magic, why not try deck wizard? Do you want to continue to deck builder? Yeah, motherfucker. Who do you think you're dealing with? Welcome to Deck Builder. Oh my god, there's nine slides, dude. Welcome to Deck Builder. Use filters. Yeah, uh-huh. The top area shows the cards in your collection. To find the best cards for your deck, use the filters to show only the cards that match. Okay, cool. When given, you didn't hear that, by the way. When given you more options for filtering your deck, check the out by check them out by navigating the tabs at the top of the page there's a lot of new stuff to see uh-huh bottom shows you deck as well as detailing the colors yeah okay all right i don't understand that oh you have to make it 60 cards okay now see that that's something right there like i used to make 100 card decks uh creatures lands 24 lands 40 percent yeah that's about right uh, don't have too many colors. I mean, I get it. Make sure your deck includes enough low-cost spell. Dude, you're, you're starting to just, like, I feel like you hate me. I need training bot to tell me I'm a good boy. Alright, yeah, I get it, man. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it there. But on the next episode, I'm gonna have a deck. We're gonna look at the deck. We're gonna try the deck out. And we're going to see how TNT Dynamite did. I don't know what color I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to look through all the cards I have. All the blue stuff too, dude. Black, blue, probably coming to you. We're going to see what I got, though. And uh, I'm just going to try to put the best thing I got together with what I have here. But until next time, this is TNT Dynamite with a crazy town. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time... I'm out.